what is up gangsters big up yourselves and welcome back to the channel if you're new here jack from jrc electrical big up yeah welcome also please consider hitting that subscribe button you would become a legend also 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 leave a little like on the video see if we can smash the like record on the channel which i think is about 500 doesn't sound a lot but it is for me yeah so press that like button also leave a little comment let me know what you think of the channel, of me, of the job, of my work. Unless you hate me, then don't leave it, please. Just leave another comment. So in today's video, we are in the process of converting a shop into a flat, which we've done on the channel before, but this one's a bit different. This must have been a big shop, to be fair, with a big storage area at the back, but we'll get into that when we get in there. Let's get in there, get the tools off, while I'm doing that, run that thing. So here is where we are at. Can you get a more perfect job? These cables here are the existing cables. So what they've done is they brought the ceiling level down. Uh, as you can see here, there's quite a big void there. All those cables are existing, so there's sockets and things all around. There's old lights. Uh, they've got to be ripped out eventually. I'm just using them while we're working here. So I'll show you the plan in a minute. This big open area, that's going to be the front door bit there. Little porch coming in, which is going to have just a light and a switch in there. Then you walk in, it's going to be lounge, living area, first part. Second part, we're going to be calling that the dining room area. It is all going to be open. And then the third part here, this bit's going to be the kitchen. So this door is going to be blocked up. Kitchen's going to come to about here, leaving our last socket for the kitchen on that little nib there. Then there's going to be a sink somewhere here, uh, fridge freezer down below, or I don't know, something down below. Socket down there, worktop height, socket down there, worktop height, socket in the middle for extractor fan. Hob's going to be there, electric, electric cooker. And there's no gas in this property at all. So everything's going to be electric. We're going to have electric heating. Uh, there's not an electric shower going in. So I'm not sure what they said about doing that. There was originally, but that got changed. So we're going to have a couple of heaters in the lounge area. And then moving through to here, we've got a little walkway. This is going to be open. This bit is going to be the door. So you've got a switch as you come in here. Light in the middle. And then down here, this corridor, light there and a light at the end. That's a smoke alarm in the middle. Couple of v looks. it's gonna be really big to be fair, really nice. Then coming into here, we've got, this is gonna be the bathroom, so there's gonna be electric heater in there. We then walk through, there's going to be another bedroom here with an electric heater somewhere in there. I'll check the plan in a minute. Then in here, this is the temporary private toilet I've been using, it's nice. Oh, that's off then. Oh yeah, the fuse board's off. So in here, this is gonna be a big tank here for the hot water with two immersions in. And then we've got a double socket going on that wall. Obviously the toilet is getting ripped out. And carrying on down the corridor, this is gonna be another bedroom in here. So we've got over here, this coil is gonna be feeding two double sockets on this wall. And then over there, we've got a double socket dropping down there and a double socket dropping down there. Now let me know your thoughts on this in the comments, what I've done with the cable runs. So to get through into that rear area, I've come through all the joists, drilled down on an angle, which will take us into the stud work in here. And then I've run them all high level up and across and through all this stud work. So from the ceiling, I have kept in 150, so that is in my zone. And then I'm gonna drop down, tape them all together and drop down where the switches and things are. What do you think about that? That's all right, isn't it? I think it's all right anyway. And that's what I've done, yeah? So some people might smash the ceiling up. Didn't fancy that. There is voids, so wherever there's a light, smoke, things like that, I have um, run it through in the void and dropped down in the stud work, which I'll show you. So up there, look, to get to that light there, I've popped straight up through the stud work and then fished it over to the light. Same with the bedrooms, fished over, nice. Now in here, on the plan, we've got five smoke alarms and one heat alarm. Now what surprised me is on the plan, in all this open area, they just had a heat alarm in the kitchen. So what I've done, I've put a smoke in that little porch area, because once that door's shut, if anyone posts anything through the letterbox or there's a fire started in there, it will be detected, but I was shocked that it wasn't on the plan. 
So we've got smoke in the hall, well, entrance bit. We've got heat in the kitchen. Then we've got smoke in that hall at the back. Smoke in bedroom one, smoke in bedroom two. What's that? Smoke, smoke, smoke. Smoke in the hut, smoke, 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 yeah. So it's four smokes and one heat. But they're all wired and they're all done. But I was shocked that they didn't put one in there. But I have. I'm a hero. Now, as you can see, a lot of this is already wired. Cable stapler comes into its own on these jobs, I'm telling you. It's worth every penny on these jobs, yeah? Check out UK Planet Tools for one of them. But yeah, like I say, most of it's wired. I'll go through the switching with you in a minute because there's a bit of, uh, bit of work still to go on that. Actually, I'll do that now. So, this feed here is our last feed from this circuit. So what I've done is I've gone to a light switch that's going on this stud for in that cupboard. That goes up to that cable there, which is a light in there. It then goes down and through to this porch area, to that switch there, and then off to a centre light up there. And then it finishes here. So on here, we're going to have three gang switch and that will feed lounge, dining room area, kitchen area separately. So three switches for those. Then I'm gonna take three, three cores over to that wall there so that when you're walking out into the rear of the property, you can turn all the lights off as you go. So I've got to pull those three cores in, still got to pull those in, and I've still got to pull the heaters in, which is what I wanted to go through with you. So currently there's no spec for heaters, so I don't know what wattage, anything like that. I don't know what size. We just know the location that they're going. <coughs> So by the front of the property in the lounge area, we're gonna be having a heater under that big window. There's number one. Then number two in the lounge kitchen dining area, we're gonna have a heater here. Now what I've done with these is I've wired them both separately back to the board. So heater one, put a little X on. Heater two, put two X's on. Now for the heaters that are down the back, I do not wanna wire them separately if possible. So what I'm probably gonna do is bathroom heater. I will put that on its own spur. Spur just outside the bathroom. Flex through, bash, done. Then the two bedroom heaters, this is how I'm gonna work it out. So what we're gonna to do to work out the loading is the wattage divided by the voltage. So if we allow for two kilowatt heater in each room, that is 2000 watts per room. Two rooms, 4000 watts. So if we do 4000 divided by 230, which is 4000 our wattage, 230 our voltage, that gives us 17.39 so that'll be 17.39 amps so i know if i run those two in in a 25 i can put it on a 20 amp radial and it will be fine because it's only pulling 17 amps so that's my plan what would you do would you wire them separately would you wire them together i was initially going to wire the lounge and the kitchen together but because of how it is it's easy enough to wire them separately so that's what i've done obviously the run to get down and through here the hole's not the biggest to get cables through, so I probably will um, join them up together and put the radiator on here for the bathroom, put a spur somewhere. High level, middle, low level, don't really matter, but we'll get it on. <laughs> While I say getting it on, get on Tradify, the sponsor of today's video. Big up you, Tradify. Now, if you've been living under a rock and you don't know what Tradify is, it's our business management software that we use to run our business here at JRC. And that is running everything from our customer databases. We can do our quoting on there. We can do our invoicing on there. We can also do our scheduling on there. So we can run our diary. We can run lads who are working for us, all women. Yeah, don't be like that. Anyone who's working for us, we can run that through there. We can link it to their accounts. They can log in. They can see where they're going. And you can then see time frames of when they were there. So your time sheets are run through it. Everything's run through it basically, and it is awesome. So as it's just gone the new tax year, why not check it out? I've left a link in the description. If you click that, you can get a free 14 day trial. You don't have to put your card details in or anything like that. It is literally a trial. If you are happy with it then, use code JLC30 for 30% off your first three months. Obviously don't check it out now. You're watching the video, yeah? I want the views, I want the view time. Stay here, but when we're finished, press that link in the description and check it out. So bash, first thing we are gonna do is get these three cores in. So from that switch there, over to here, then they are done. Then we'll go through the routes that we're doing to get the heaters on. So I've got two of those uh, three cores pulled in. I've run out of three cores, so I'll be ordering some of that from Alex at RS. If you're watching Alex, you probably dropped it off. Fair play to you, cheers mate. 
So here's what we've done with the three cores. So number one, number two, the third one will obviously have three nicks and we'll do the same with the switch wire. So we've fed the switch, feed in live neutral earth into the switch and then we'll have live neutral out to each section. So number one, number two, number three, which will match up with the three cores. So when with that end and this end connecting up, we know which is which. It's just easier, so mark everything. Also, I did forget to say, so the tank that's going in that cupboard that I showed you is just behind this wall here, so it's probably just to the left of my hand there. So what we're gonna do is pull two 2.5s into there. So when we were specking the job, Mr. Boilerman said it only needs to be 1.5. Not sure how, I've never seen that before, but we're gonna pull 2.5 in anyway in case the elements ever get upgraded or anything. So it's got two elements in. So two 2.5 straight over to there, and this is the route we're gonna take. I don't think I've even mentioned it yet, but the fuse board's going in there under the stairs. There's our cables coming down to it. The mains for the property is just through there. So upstairs, there's a few more flats. So that's just a little communal entrance and staircase up there. So we'll be getting our cables through there. What we'll probably do is drag a split con in, and we'll send it up in a bit of trunking. Wherever these cables are that go down, we'll come through and then drill through these joists or clip it to the top or something. Go around and then it feeds back to our thing that'll be fed from a KMF switch in the mines area. Anyway, absolutely waffling, isn't it? So the route I'm gonna take is up from the board, through, out, through, like those other two fives that are up there. I'm gonna carry on straight down and then I'm gonna come down in the corner here and then go either drill through wherever I need to or okay, take it straight the way down under the plinths here and go through and off pull, whatever. Anyway, that's our route through. So two 2.5s from the board straight to the tank. Also, just quickly, let me tell you, waffling again, all our routes for our cables, we've kept to the edges. So here's my main route down here. And here is my main route down there that goes back to the board. That's just because when we drill out our down lights, there's gonna be no cables really in the way apart from the ones we need to connect. So just a little tip for you there, because I know how much you love the tip. <coughs> right, I've got the heater cables and the immersion cables through. Let me just show you how I've done that. So I've drilled a new run for those. I've still got the cooker to go in, so that'll go in the right hand with those. Comes down and then down the corner here. So there is heater cable and then carrying on down there's our two immersions so they're in our 150 zone in that corner if you didn't know so socket on the wall there that's a zone directly up and below the socket directly to the left and right is a zone so if i wanted to put socket there which i will i could run all the way across to another socket there that's still in the zone and we've also got 150 mil down from the ceiling and 150 mil from the corners. So by the time this is boarded, it's having insulated board on, it's gonna be like 10 mil off it probably. Not a lot at all. Our other heater cable is just here called up. So I've run this through. That's gonna be doing the bathroom heater there and a heater on this wall on the right. So that's one circuit. And in this little love den in here, that's where our cables come through. So. This bit overhangs outside the building, so that is the corner. So there's our immersion cables coming through there. I'll probably put a bit of trunking or whatever, wherever the boiler bloke wants them, I will put them. And then there's our heater cable coming through the ceiling. So I'll clip that down that bay there, and then it comes across right the way through and drops down next to that window hither. I've got another one now to come off here, straight the way down to do a heater in that bedroom, I believe. No, I think it's on this wall to be fair. So I'll come across through and then up through this like I have here. So if you can see, I've drilled through on an angle in the ceiling and that pops out in there. That's just got to be clipped round, but it's still in the bay and it's 150 off of that wall. So we're good to go. That'll then come through and straight down. And I believe, I will double check, but the heat is going on that wall in there. I'm absolutely covered in wood from drilling, but, oh, and it's in my ear, get out. The cables are mostly pulled in now, so all I've got to do is box everything everywhere. On any of these external walls, this side right the way down to the back and all the way across the left hand side here is having insulated board. So I can screw straight to that brick either way and then in here I can screw straight to that plaster because it's going to be obviously come off for the insulation and the board. So it would be perfect for me. All I've got going on that wall, to be fair, is a single box for the heater that's going on there. And I've got two double sockets down in there on that wall there. 
Now, downlights in here. How do you work them out, Jack? Well, I'm gonna tell you, don't worry. So, lounge side, what we'll probably do is go roughly off the plan and see if we can work out from any stud walls that have been built or anything like that. That'll be the end of our room sort of thing. So we're gonna have two rows down here if it works out. If not, we'll put three in. But two rows, so probably two, four, five spots in the lounge area. Then we'll probably have four in the dining area. And then, I don't know, I don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, five in the kitchen. Don't know. But basically what we're gonna do is we'll measure the, that was good, wasn't it? Measure, see if I can put a little tape here. Measure, no, it didn't work. Measure from the wall to roughly the end of our lounge area. Then if we've got four spots in the ceiling, we're gonna divide that by five because of the extra gap either side. So we've got gap to the first spot, second spot, third spot, fourth spot, fifth spot. So one gap, two, three, four, five. Something like that. Anyway, you get the gist. And then we can come in, to be fair, the joists all go this way, so we can come in wherever we want, really. But we want to get it, so if you're stood either end, you look down the room, everything's in line, the gaps are equidistant. The gaps are equal, that way, that way. Anywhere you look, it looks nice to the eye. But I'm probably not going to do that today. Just wanted to tell you how we're going to do it. So, first bit, second bit, third bit. So from that switch that's by the front door when we walk in, we're going to have three three cores. We're gonna have our feed out, no, our feed in, it's the last one. And then we're gonna have three switch wires. So there'll be three, six, seven cables in there. Then what we're gonna do with our feed in, neutrals straight into a Wago, and then our three switch neutrals into the same Wago. We're then gonna come in with our, phew, that was violent. With our live, we'll have, in the, it won't be in the common, it'll be in the L1 or whatever across all of them because of the three cores. So we'll have, First, second, third, all linked through. And then our three cores, obviously, to switch them. The switch wires in the L2 and the three core brown or whatever you use for your common in the common. So in each common, we'll have one cable. In each L1, we'll have two cables. In each L3, L2, we'll have two cables. Apart from where there's a link for the permanent live, then there'll be three. So I've just got them two more cables to pull in. One over to that final heater. One to the heater that's going in the hall. That road is noisy, man. I don't know if you can hear it, to be fair, because I'm, well, I'm stood here, so I can hear it. That means you can hear it, yeah? So I've got them two cables to run in. Then I'll probably start boxing, so I'll run round, set everywhere up that needs a box. Obviously, in these stud walls, it doesn't need a box. We'll just put a little cross on the floor to say that that's our bay. Then when this is overboarded, we can use our stud detector to detect where the joists are, and then, obviously, we know we've just got to be in that gap there. There is insulation going everywhere in the ceilings, but it's Rockwall, not Celotex. We hate Celotex here at JLC. It's a nightmare. I'm sure you hate it too. Unless it's in your house, it's keeping it nice and warm fair. I've been cracking on, but I wanted to tell you something. I've just had an email through. This is actually nothing to do with anything, but I just thought I'd tell you. I've had an email come through, Van Insurance Renewal, 1,100 quid. No crashes, no claims, no nothing. When I compare the market, 450 quid, Ha! Huh. Imagine people who don't check that. Don't know why I told you that, but check your renewals, kids. Here's where we're up to, and this is what I've done to get the cables down to the sockets and switches. I've just put a bit of oil band on the wall, wrapped it round. It's all getting dabbed over with insulated boards, so there's plenty of room behind. So we've got socket, socket there. Spur there for a heater. Obviously light switch I haven't finished off because I've got no three core left, so get a delivery on, get that in. Socket there. Extractor fan just left a call there and socket down here. So this is the existing cable that comes through. Down through that wall, obviously you can tell it's in a zone there. And then it feeds a little fuse board in here that does this side of the shop or whatever this was. So we'll be getting rid of that and also rid of these 2.5s that go through the wall there. So that's us. We need to all band those down in the corner, get them tied in there. And then this socket here I'm doing now. So the difference with this one, I've cut two knockouts out. So what I'm going to do is one leg from the ring is going to go straight down into a coil here and then a leg back up to feed this socket. Second leg is going to come and feed this socket. So there'll be two cables coming out of here, one that goes straight the way through. That's because this worktop here, there's power needed underneath for, I don't know, fridge, freezer, 
dishwasher, whatever they're having, but that's where it's gonna be. So I've still got in here to do. I've got one cable left to pull from there to there, but I've run out of two five now as well, which is always nice. I've got the socket, the heater cables in, in here. So there's two that come down in this bay. They're just gonna drop down into a spur there. The other leg goes off through that little passageway that I'd created through the wall and then down into here. So these two are on the same circuit and then the bathroom and the hallway is on the same circuit. So there's two 20 amp radials feeding the four heaters. Now in here, this is a nightmare to get back from the lighting circuit because it's not connected to anything. I could run it up there and down and round and down and through the wall and into there, but it's a ball ache because that's not our last point, so we'd be having three feeds. It just makes it a bit more complicated when we're connecting up. So what I'm gonna do is just put a spur down by the socket there. This is gonna be used for the um, tank anyway, this little cupboard. So put a spur down by the socket that's just gonna feed the light in here. I'm gonna come up through the ceiling, round, down to a switch, probably in this stud here, and then back up to feed a center light in the middle of there. It's about as much as I can show you really. Um, for today but i did want to make a video show you what i've been up to obviously you might have noticed that the content slowed down i am struggling to get one week out and just not be repetitive because everything i'm doing lately you've seen it all before i can't really make videos for the sake of making videos apart from this one just to tell you and show you what i've been doing and obviously get your opinions on these heaters so yeah if you got this far big up yourselves Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get your business in order, check out that link in the description for Tradeify. Like I said, free 14 day trial. It's worth a go if you haven't had a go already. If you do like it, code JRC30 for 30% off your first three months. Big up yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a little comment, leave a like. See you later, ta -ra. Yeah.